Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking the time today to attend this webinar. My name is Jason Katsaptis in Product Marketing at Ramini Street. Today, we're going to cover Ramini Street's application management services for Salesforce. Before we get further into our AMS for Salesforce services, I wanted to provide a quick background of Ramini Street for those of you who may not be familiar with us. Just like companies such as Uber and Amazon and Airbnb have been disrupting their industries for several years, Ramini Street has been disrupting the enterprise software support industry since 2005. Today, we are widely recognized as the world's leader in enterprise software support services for Oracle and SAP applications, as well as the world's leading databases. Now, recently, we've expanded those offerings to include the ability to deliver AMS for Oracle and SAP, as well as Salesforce. And the reason behind this is many of our clients and even non-clients are struggling to keep up with the daily operations of these application environments and are trying to find ways to get more ROI out of the system, but also take their resources and make sure they're focused on the most critical and differentiating activities versus the day-to-day -day operations of the system. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about how we help and deliver AMS for Salesforce specifically. Now, Ramini Street, like you, is, is a Salesforce customer. In fact, we're one of the larger Salesforce implementations out there having talked to Salesforce about this. And you know, Salesforce does a nice job every, every so often of going out and surveying their customers to understand how they're using Salesforce today. And from those surveys, they're able to understand and gather information about you know, the degree of ROI that they're getting from the Salesforce platform based upon the performance of the, of the software within their environment. In other words, how much they're utilizing it, how much they're adopting it, how many of the features they're using today and taking advantage of what's coming in the future. And these things directly correlate to things such as win rate improvements for the business, higher revenue attainment, or even customer satisfaction. And I can tell you that from Romini Street's perspective and myself being in marketing, we use Salesforce every day to get closer to what our clients are doing, how they're behaving, understand the history, and it helps us be better at delivering support services and roadmap services for where they're going in the future. Now, one of the major challenges for many Salesforce customers is that after implementation, they have to then think about how do we actually support this system from an ongoing perspective once my implementation partner is gone? And that often falls on the shoulders of the IT organization. And so all of the tickets requests that might start to come in from different parts of the business for minor enhancements or changes to the system, they start to create a ticket backlog within the IT organization. But at the same time, the expectation at, this, at the executive level is getting the most value and utilization out of Salesforce, right? Having all the parts of the business utilize the tool, which is very, very robust for the organization. That's the key to getting the ROI and value out of the investment. Ramini Street's goal is to help you drive that value curve up and to the right, get the most utilization, adoption, and consumption of Salesforce across the business for your specific needs, but also help you with the ongoing backlog of requests and features that you're going to face moving forward and to give you the expertise and the resources to do both of those things and have the ability to then take your best Salesforce resources and focus them on the things that they need to do to drive the most ROI out of the system. So if we go a little bit deeper, you know, what gets in the way today for most companies of achieving that themselves? Well, there's a number of solvable factors that we come across in our conversations with Salesforce customers. And we hear these things, and you know, I should note that again, we ran into several of these ourselves as a Salesforce customer. And this was really the driving principle about how, how we designed our AMS for Salesforce offerings. We wanted to be able to help organizations with you know, several or even all of these challenges at the same time if they needed help with it. And I'm gonna go through these just for a few minutes. So feature request backlog. You know, Salesforce is such an agile application, and people know how flexible it can be to do many things. And it can quickly inundate a company's IT organization with a backlog of requests. You know, we've heard things from some customers that, you know, some simple requests from users took two to three weeks to implement, and it was something as simple as just adding a field to Salesforce. And that's starting to slow down their ability to do their job. And, and this kind of goes to the second point of skill, skills gaps and availability. You know, if there's something 
that's needed, a particular set of skills around Salesforce, such as an ad hoc development request um, to do something that really doesn't take that long, or perhaps an architect or a data model or integration expertise to give an opinion about the best way to accomplish something. It's very hard if you don't have those skills in-house to go outside, find an external party quickly enough to go do those things that you need or make it financially meaningful for them to do it um, and also make it cost effective for you to go do it at the same time. Now, compounding the challenge on skills, gaps, and resources is the fact that Salesforce themselves will come out with major releases several times a year. These are packed with new features, and release notes can be hundreds of pages. So customers of all sizes will struggle in often cases to understand and have the time to understand what's in those new releases, how it applies to them, and get the help in understanding what to pay attention to. The, the next area that comes into play is cost. So if you, you know, when IDC talks about the fact that Salesforce customers often spend four to five times more on people and related applications than they do on the actual Salesforce licenses. And the cost of talent, employees, whether they're direct full-time employees or going out and getting contract resources or partner resources are very high relative to other application teams. But perhaps the largest challenge we've seen here is that traditional AMS providers, if you were to go out and try to get resources today often provide rotational resources that do not have the time or take the time to learn your unique business. And they often operate on a bucket of hours or a number of tickets model. This is very different than how Romini Street approaches it, and I'll describe that in a minute. And then finally, you know, many companies bought Salesforce like Romini Street did with the idea of getting better insights into our customers. And driving sufficient ROI from the platform really requires taking the time to invest to create the right set of reports and dashboards and workflows to support the business and have the time to go do that work. And then also adapt that work that you do as your business changes or as Salesforce changes. That's a continuous effort. And the right partner can help you address, you know, any of these challenges or all of these challenges at the same time. But addressing this kind of cycle of maintaining Salesforce environments was really the, the principle behind our AMS for Salesforce offering at Romini Street. So what I'd like to do first is just share with you a couple of client examples. So Brand Safway is a $5 billion organization with customers in over 30 countries, and they have about 1,300 Salesforce users. They were actually an existing Romini Street client where we were providing third-party support services for Oracle, as I described in the beginning. But like many organizations, they had a large backlog of cases around their Salesforce environment. Um, within the first year of leveraging our AMS for Salesforce offering, they were able to reduce the case volume by nearly 25% simply by having us identify repetitive issues and fixing the root cause of those issues rather than continually waiting for tickets to come in and just plowing through the tickets that, that continued to increase. So this idea of getting to the root cause of what's causing the tickets to happen is something that we were able to add more focus on than they were given their current resources. And over that period of time, our, our team was able to manage over 800 service requests, including 50 system enhancements. And most importantly, and this is something we're very, very uh, focused on at Romini Street, we did all of this while maintaining a, a five out of five customer satisfaction rating. If you look up Romini Street and check any of our earnings releases, we publicly measure our customer satisfaction rating right alongside our earnings. We compensate our employees based upon customer satisfaction rating. It's very, very important to us. And so we're very proud we were able to handle this volume of requests, but also have this, this particular client be very, very satisfied. The next client I want to talk about is EBSCO Industries. This is an interesting client in that they're a nearly $3 billion organization but they're very diverse with many different lines of business. And so as they've adopted Salesforce across those lines of business, that's posed its own set of challenges to leverage Salesforce across the organization in a consistent way and keep track of how they're getting value from the Salesforce system. They were also a Romini Street client um, for third-party support services, except on the SAP application side. So they were very familiar with our business model and how we handle ourselves with clients on a daily basis. And once they, uh, they learned about our AMS for Salesforce offering, um, they were very interested in this. 
not, not so much from a plowing through ticket backlog perspective, although that was part of it, it was also mostly focused on developing new sets of um, application integrations and processes to get more value out of the environment. So some of those examples we helped them work on were new KPI tracking processes, order management workflows, new quote templates. We also helped them fix Apex text test classes to optimize deployment of new code into production and help them perform a critical update analysis for new deployments so that they can prioritize what they actually need. You know, when we added all of this value up in the first year of their using our AMS for Salesforce services, in, in the words of the client, they achieved about a 260% ROI on their AMS for Salesforce investment with us. And again, with a five out of five customer satisfaction rating. So hopefully this gives you a feel for a couple of the clients that have already adopted this solution, some of the benefits they've, they've received. Now the next question we get is, okay, how are these services actually structured and how are they delivered? So I wanna talk about that for a few minutes. And we've designed the services portfolio, again, to be aligned to the types of challenges we see most often within Salesforce customers. So perhaps the largest set here is what we call responsive application uh, services. And you know, this is where we spend the majority of our time today. Here, our, our clients can choose from a catalog of items that spans several things, including Salesforce administration, development, user administration, and data services. These tasks tend to be very administrator and developer-centric. Um, customers are also very pleased to hear that we fully support custom code they have developed. This is one of the hallmarks at Ramini Street, including how we support local and SAP environments. You know, we go beyond what many of the vendors do to support customizations that you may make. And so the goal of this is to really decrease ticket resolution time, reduce your backlog, provide high quality deliverables that free up your team for more strategic projects and spend more time on business analysis and other things like that. The second area is proactive support. This is very important work that goes beyond processing tickets and it sets you up for success with Salesforce and helps prevent surprises, which is very important. So our goal here is to give insight to where you are with your current implementation and a roadmap for how to make it better. We deliver these proactive recommendations by knowing what you want to accomplish because at Ramini Street, the resources that we assign to your organization are consistent and dedicated and they get to know your environment. They're not rotational resources. So we'll do things such as continually monitor and benchmark at your Salesforce environment, understand what the future Salesforce roadmap may mean to you and help you go through those hundreds of pages to prioritize what you may really need, and then recommend best practices along the way. Now, all of these are guidance and recommendations, of course. If you're, you know, this is done in collaboration with your Salesforce team. Think of this as a extra set of forward-looking resources to help you be proactive and get the most value um, moving forward for your system. The next area is critical production support. And we've built our reputation at Ramini Street on, on support, as I've talked about earlier. What we do here for Salesforce is this ensures that your unique Salesforce production environment has the skilled resources available on demand to quickly respond and resolve critical production issues. This includes break-fix support for configurations, custom code, and integrations. And we will work directly with Salesforce to resolve issues as needed if requested. And our goal here is to simply minimize production issues and interruptions to the system. So we have this kind of combination of you know, helping you address the ongoing requests you're going to get, help you be more proactive to plan ahead and make the most use of what's coming and get best practices recommendations, and be that, um, line in the sand that can help you with critical production support when needed. Now, the other area that we get requests for is to actually help with new development or new project services. And we have the ability to deliver those as well and can deliver those on a case-by-case -case basis working with your uh, AMS for Salesforce lead at Ramini Street. So our approach, you know, when we add all this up, we really feel this is a new approach to Salesforce AMS. It's proactive, comprehensive, and designed to be very cost effective. Now, there are other partners out there that do parts of this, but in likelihood, you, what you'd have to do is go out and hire a combination of, for example, a managed services partner for the responsive application piece, a consulting partner for the proactive support piece, 
um, a level two partner for production support. The benefit of Ramini Street AMS for Salesforce is we deliver all of this to you from a single partner and for a subscription price, which I'll talk about now in a little more detail. So the first thing to know about the AMS for Salesforce offerings is that we've designed it to be an unlimited usage model. So one of the frustrations we heard in talking to many customers out there when we were developing this service is many of the companies out there will provide a bucket of hours or a per ticket model. And, you know, really it's hard to predict what's going to come up and what you're going to need. And that, that may fluctuate by um, amount or it might fluctuate by the type of, of work that you need done. And our goal was to just make it simple. We want everything to be an unlimited usage model. So we have an openly available services catalog with over 170 Salesforce administrative and development services available that are basically all you can consume for your subscription price. So one of the exercises that we get asked to do and we do now um, routinely is we will go through with you your ticket history and do a map against our services catalog so you can feel comfortable going into this how much this unlimited usage model will cover the types of requests that you're typically dealing with today. Here's an example from one of our uh, Salesforce, AMS for Salesforce clients. We went through two years of their data and we found a 99.9%, .9%, basically 100% match um, with their uh, previously logged tickets against our unlimited usage catalog. So they felt comfortable going into this relationship that we were going to be able to, to handle all of the different types of user administration, configuration, or data services requests that they have historically and handle those moving forward within this uh, subscription-based and unlimited model. Now, the other thing that we've done with the, the delivery model is that we've designed it such that the monthly um, per user price will decrease the more users you add to the system. Now, why did we do that? Well, again, our goal is to help you drive adoption of the system. We want to get the most ROI out of the AMS for Salesforce uh, offering and the most ROI out of your Salesforce platform. So the more users using it, the more uh, it's adopted, the better. We also know that your, your organization, hopefully, as you're more successful, will continue to scale. And as your business scales, you're going to add more users. So your price per, per month per user should be reflective of that and should give you better economies of scale. And that's how we've designed our AMS for Salesforce pricing. So hopefully this has given you a good introduction to our AMS for Salesforce offering. You know, we've designed this unlimited usage model, again, to make it simple to consume and very comprehensive to address, hopefully, most if not all of the types of requests you're getting today. But do so with a subscription price. So it's very predictable. There's no surprises. You're going to have a consistent um, modeling around, you know, what you're spending and that cost per user per month will decrease as you scale. And then finally, always keep in mind that it's unlimited usage subscription price, but with the same expertise that Ramini Street is very, very well known for in the industry. You know, we only focus on delivering high quality expertise to our clients and, and paying very close attention to customer and client satisfaction. We'd be happy to walk through um, your particular environment in more detail, talk about some of the um, historical requests you've been getting and what you're trying to achieve with the system, and talk about how we can help you. So please check our website, RaminiStreet.com, for more information, uh, and we hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.